And now I will ask Sandra Dokic, State Secretary, Ministry of Environmental Protection, to take the floor also to address you. Uh, good day to, to everyone, dear professor, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to, to be here on behalf of Ministry of Environmental Protection uh, because we think this is a really strong message. The message is that the university, especially this one and the rest of them, are really interested in, uh, in this such important topic like uh, Green Agenda for the Western Balkan. Uh, for us, it's really important to, to have um, the, the university and also the students, the, the uh, people who are really uh, keen to, to uh, learn about Green Agenda and to be actively involved in the implementation of the Green Agenda. What the Green Agenda is. Let's say that that is at this moment what the buzzword. Everybody is talking about the Green Agenda, uh, even the, the, some the citizens, you can, you can hear it, talk about it, but uh, some of them are not aware what the actual Green Agenda is. So uh, let's talk about the Green Agenda on a uh, regional level and also what is important, to the Green Agenda on the national level. Uh, the EU countries, uh, they actually have the Green Deal. Uh, and the Green Deal, they actually uh, have the strategy how to improve uh, environment uh, in the next decades. And what is the most important for them to be the climate neutral continent up to 2050. When we're talking about continent in Europe, it means that, that Serbia and the region should be the, also the, is a part of this uh, uh, continent and will have the same goals. That's why we have the green agenda only dedicated for, for, for the region, uh, Western Balkan and co economy, six of them. Uh, so we have some regional cooperation uh, uh, on that respect and also we have so many activities on the national level. Um, after we have adopted the, the SOFIA declaration in year 2020, the uh, Regional Cooperation Council RCC, we have a representative here, have developed the action plan how to actually implement the Green Agenda on the regional level. That is not easy task because we have some general formulation there in order to see all our uh, commitment uh, uh, we needed to develop our national green agenda. Uh, that's why at that moment we realized that actually we uh, need one strategic document, the, st uh, the umbrella document, and that is something what uh, we are developing at, at this moment, and that is the environmental protection agency, uh, uh, strategy, which will be aligned with the green agenda. We will cover all five pillars, and we will have the three years action plan. Uh, that is important because uh, based on that documents, uh, uh, not only the, the citizens, but the rest of the institution will be at that moment aware what the, what the actually green agenda is. Because we know that, that some institutions, they know that we are working on so many activities, but they uh, are not um, able to, to somehow interlink how that is uh, related with the green agenda. Green agenda is everything what is green what is in a favor, favor of environment. Uh, it's not only chapter 27, it's not only cluster four, we also have some additional chapters uh, like agriculture, uh, which is included in, uh, in a green agenda. Uh, that's why it's necessary to have these such important umbrella documents. Uh, and I know that our experts, especially Marina, she is working on it. I know she will present you more uh, about this strategy. But uh, uh, our uh, goal is to uh, have the draft document till the end of this year and probably to start with the uh, procedure to adopt on, on, on a government, let's call it the, the January and the, the next year. Um, it's... Um, that is something what is also support, supported from the uh, National Green Agenda, Green Agenda IPA project. That is the project I'm really proud of, and that is, this is not for the first time that I want to mention it, uh, because uh, we actually, when we apply for this IPA project, we uh, uh, realize that we need some uh, uh, grant funds from the uh, uh, Brussels. Uh, and we exceeded in, it, in that. After that, when we started with the implementation, uh, our implementing partners are the UNDP, uh, ABE, and uh, uh, 
Sweden, uh, we uh, actually started with uh, uh, implementation of this project and we actually, um, um, the, the, the lot of donors actually were, were paying attention on the, or our activities and they wanted somehow to, to contribute to these funds. Uh, and now uh, we started with uh, uh, 8 million euros from the uh, uh, EPA funds and now we, we actually have the fundraising and we have almost 17 million. That is what is really important because the, the, the donors realize that we have a really serious uh, implementation and activities and they want it to, to contribute. Some of them are particularly interested in some, some pillars like decarbonization and some of them on biodiversity but it's, it's, it's important for us that we can, uh, uh, we can cover all uh, uh, pillars. Uh, this project is uh, uh, the one who actually supports the, uh, the development of this uh, umbrella strategy. Uh, also for us, it is really important that we have communication, really good communication with the um, private sector, with the companies, because we have some uh, challenge calls and uh, they, uh, it was really important to, to uh, send them the strong message, uh, you know, we need to go uh, in favor of green transition, you need somehow to adjust because the, the Europe will, we will have so many um, requests from the Western Balkan economies, especially if you have in mind that the, the CBAM or carbon border uh, adjustment mechanism is here, it's knocking on the door, we will start to, to uh, reporting from, from the October. Uh, so that will be, uh, let's say, uh, somehow the burden, not only for the companies, but also for the, for the Republic of Serbia and our GDP and, and everything what will be uh, with, uh, with the, the CBAM. Uh, so climate change is something what is, uh, what is here. Uh, we, we, at this moment, we are facing with the, with the floods within, uh, in Republic of Serbia. So we will have the really big damage about everything what is happening. Uh, and that's why it's necessary really to have the, the important documentation because we are, as a ministry and the government, we are a policy maker. We, we need to, to uh, provide you all these uh, documentation programs uh, uh, to, to, uh, to show you that we are working on this issue and that we have a plan how to reach some goals. Uh, that's why uh, regarding the climate change is important that we have adopted a uh, low carbon um, development strategy uh, with the aim to increase, to decrease our um, GAG uh, emissions by 33.3% comparing with the period 1919. Uh, and also it's important that we are working uh, really actively and in the next few weeks we will start with the public hearings uh, with the climate change adaptation program. When we uh, talk about the climate change, they usually people want to talk only about mitigation. It's necessary also to be dedicated to, to mitigation. But what is the most important at this moment is to adapt on this climate change because that is here, we have a lot of damages and that is the process. We cannot uh, stop at that moment. We just need to see how to adapt and how, how to, to, to learn some lessons from, from the, the previous period and to see how to overcome all these issues and consequences we are facing with at this moment. Uh, so that is something we are really working on. Uh, in the, uh, the last year, uh, that was the, the year where we adopted also some, some, something really important and crucial documents that was the uh, circular economy uh, uh, program uh, and air protection program. Uh, based on all these documents, that, that is actually what is the really important to have each and every country because everybody who, who wants to work from the, the foreign partners who want to work with, uh, with the government, the first uh, they want to know, yes, is uh, what is your goal? How are you planning to achieve it? Do I have some activities, implementation on PIL and how we can support you? Uh, I just came from the Vienna. Uh, straight from the airport. I, I, I came here and I really want to, to also to share my impression uh, from Vienna because there was an event organized by the World Bank and the other um, uh, financial institution. Uh, 
uh, it was the, also dedicated to the Green Agenda for Western Balkan. Uh, and uh, I, I really can, can say, say that I, I was impressed because uh, uh, I can see the easily that, that they really want to support implementation of the Green Agenda. They are waiting for this, the crucial document, to see what will be all our activities. Uh, and what was my, my concern, I actually explained to them, okay, we have so many credits at this moment in implementation. And this moment we have the project uh, covered by the uh, uh, mostly credits, uh, uh, about 4 point, not about, it's precisely 4.7 billion euros uh, in the uh, in, uh, Republic of Serbia. So we are implementing building the regional centers, wastewater treatment plants, the, we, we have some investments in air quality. Uh, and my message to, to the World Bank and the rest of them was, okay, it's enough with the credits, help us to, to, to have a grant help us to, to somehow reach the EU funds money. Because the, uh, the, uh, what we can hear about the people from, from the Brussels, uh, yes, we have 9 billion euros for the Western Balkan, but it's so complicated to reach this, this money. And it's not an easy process at all. And sometimes we are, uh, we are really annoyed but because they, they sometimes they change the, the rules in the middle of the game, so, so it's really difficult to follow the methodology uh, for the next EPA 3 has been changed, and we have a lot of uncertainty. Uh, and actually, I uh, realized that most of them, the, especially World Bank, we are talking about the, the, uh, its uh, financial institutions covering all the world, not only the, the Europe, they're really willing to help us to somehow, let's say, grab the money from the EU and take all these grants uh, to provide some uh, additional co-financing and to continue with the implementation. Uh, and that is a really good message, why they are willing to do that. That is not the case with the, with the rest of Western Balkan economy. That is the case for the Serbia and maybe some of them, maybe Montenegro, uh, because we have developed and adopted all these important documents. So, so that is, uh, you know, the, the hard work paid off. We, we put a lot of uh, efforts to, to do that. We know in order to uh, develop and adopt something, we need maybe uh, more than one year, and that is really to be dedicated only to, to, to the job, sometimes even more if you want to change some laws, etc., etc. We need to follow the all, uh, all procedure. Uh, but in the last uh, few, few years, we really had a lot of actions, and now we have some results. So when we have such important documentations, laws, when we uh, want to, when they see that we want to transpose everything what is uh, in uh, um, uh, EU key uh, uh, regarding the, the environment, they're, they're willing to, to help. So that is my impression because I know that for Green Agenda, if we want to implement everything, we really need to be patient. We really uh, need to know it takes times. We're talking about decades of the implementation and that not only for the Serbia, it's, it's also for the developed country in order to be on this level of, uh, uh, um, let's say, envir environment. Uh, uh, they really needed more than 20 years to, to, to reach this level. So this is not only the, the, the case for, for the Serbia, but uh, this is a momentum. This is a momentum. Uh, and we really need to, uh, to grab this opportunity. We really need to have the young people who are willing to work for, for environment to, to be, let's say, green engineers. That is something what we really need. So it's important to have university who are, who are helping us and support us in all our efforts to have a better environment. So I would do not want to take too much of your, of your time. This was just uh, uh, some, some important information I wanted to share with you. Uh, I will just repeat once again that I think it's really important that, that you have organized such a thing. And uh, we really think, and uh, the rest of the faculties and actually the, the University of Belgrade will also support all our efforts in order to implement the Green Agenda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Dokic.